It's time for another 3WTF video. Well, it's been a while since we've done a 3WTF video. Has it? I'm excited. What do you mean, has it? That was weird. <laughs> Chris, I don't, I don't really know what to say right now. Yeah, you're right. These videos typically bleed together. I don't know what we even did yesterday. Did we do something yesterday? We went live. That's right. We did go live, and you should be there during our lives every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern. We have a real blast there, and this upcoming weekend, we're going to be talking more in depth about New York Comic Con 2024. And we might even be getting closer to showing off our first NYCC exclusive. I'm very excited. Are you excited to see Mischief Toys' first NYCC exclusive? They sound excited. I didn't hear anything. That sounds exciting to me. They act like they did. Like we're like Sesame Street or something. They sound great. That's how you react. Go ahead. Now you do your Sesame Street reaction. Don't do too much though. Sometimes you do too much and it's embarrassing. Oh my gosh, you are excited. Okay, you're embarrassing me. Let's talk about 3WTS. But before we get there, we have something else to discuss. What are we discussing? Dish trackers. Still not back on Instagram. How could this even be? Now, as you can see here, I actually had to do this embed post thing in order for me to see it look like this. It just looks prettier this way. But this collectible is now on Facebook. All the things that we pulled are from his Facebook now because we can't use the Instagram. We cannot see all of the great comments anymore. It's a whole mess. But here's what he says. Here's an update on my Instagram. Funko responded and helped the best they could the rest of the process is left on IG. If you have any tips to process it faster with them, please let me know. So he's still dead in the water. Now, before I said we cannot see comments, and the reason why we can't see comments is that if I were to open a window and show you a picture of something we're discussing, you'll see all my little chat windows come up, and I can't get them to stop. They're on fire down there. I would have to mute literally everybody, and I don't wanna to have to go through that. So for now on, we're not going to see comments. I think you can like do a group mute. Like, can you? Can like mute, mute the entire Facebook? Can yeah. you can you for mute like the certain, entire Facebook? For a certain amount of time, yeah. All of Facebook? No, like your chats. I just hit a button that <laughs> that stopped from seeing messages pop up. Well, that's great. So this person is asking, was it Disney who reported them? Nope. Was it Funko? And then they finally answer, it was, and they handled it. So apparently, Funko is who reported Dish Trackers on Instagram. Yeah, we found that out, remember? I mean, was it definitive? I don't know if we yes. knew for a fact that they're the ones who did we it. Did. Were, it, were we did. It gave them, like, they put in their contact email. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, they did do it, but I guess the question is, who is really behind it? So here's the thing. With licensors, they typically have rules as to what the licensee can post. So while it was Funko that actually reported it, it could be due to their contract with Disney. The, you just said the key words. Licensee can post. They're the licensee. They didn't post it. Right. Dish trackers did. So well, the point is, Dish Trackers posted a product that was not supposed to be shared. Although, in my opinion, they should come down on Funko for allowing people to purchase their product who are going to leave. Bingo! Exactly! That's the whole point here. And a lot of people are missing it. And by the way, too many haters on Dish Trackers. Oh, I don't understand gross. what that is. I don't know if that people are trying to like become the next big news source or they just hate somebody who shares good news. Like, I really don't know what your problem is or why you're coming down on him or acting like it's not a big deal. It actually is a very big deal. Let's talk first off his business. This is something he earns money from, I'm sure, with the amount of business that he does on Instagram. This is hurting him in a really big way. That sucks. He obviously isn't getting the same thing from Facebook and X or what used to be called Twitter. I, this is impacting him probably in a big way. And this this isn't something that we discussed with him about. This is what I'm gathering from what I know. With affiliate links, you, you can earn money. 100%. You do earn money. And the amount of affiliate links that are wrapped into his Instagram, which appears to be his most popular source of, like, for people to go and check. I noticed X doesn't have, like, a crazy amount of likes and neither does Facebook. Instagram is the one that gets most hits. Yes, so the course. fact that Instagram is down, that is a problem. And I don't know why there's so many haters. Because people are mad that he is able to share information and get paid by it. 
That's exactly what it is. That's all it is. So it's jealousy. Je people are incredibly jealous and they get mad when people earn things in general. I actually went ahead and blocked a couple of accounts because there are some people that were just boo hoo and just everything and poo pooing everything and it really annoyed me. So we had to go in and block some accounts because I was tired of seeing people talk and be negative and just be shitty overall. And then they've been doing this for a long time, but this is the last straw. The last this straw. is our friend mm -hmm. Dish Trackers who we love to service because he services us so well. Blocking is servicing him as well. I just want him to know. He's, if you're watching it, we're servicing you. Even the, You don't even know. It's like we're Batman and Joker's out in the streets at night and you're sleeping. And we're taking care of Joker. We're servicing you. Did I make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I did. I think I made sense. I don't know what all the hubbub is about with dish trackers. Here's the thing. I, and I, I got to I gotta talk about this because I, th I think I did in the previous video. But there are so many other accounts out there sharing this data. Yeah. And there are some accounts that are specific to leaking stuff. So why are those guys hit? And and so I asked myself that question before we made this video and I actually checked those sources. They're still up and running and they're still posting stuff. They are. And as a matter of fact, we got said something the other day, a very large like movie account basically said the back of a Funko Pop spoiled this character and this character. And that post is still up. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So why aren't these other accounts being hit? I'm assuming it's due to Dis's size because he is a huge, he's this a large source. Lar this was a large A large account. source as well? Yeah. I don't know what this is about, and this is kind of crappy Funko for you guys to do with it just to the one guy. I guess you're making him, you know, you're, what, what do you call that? An you're making example? him the example. Yeah, you're making him the example. I think that's garbage. I think it's trash. And I specifically think it's trash when people are out there kicking him while he's down. I Frickin' don't like that. No, it's, and I don't often say like frickin'. Gross. It's great. It is gross, Heather. It it's is. like an old d dingy sock that has boogers on it and farts. Why are you putting a sock up to your nose to blow it? No, I'm just pulling them out of my nose and sticking them on the sock, and then I'm farting on it. <laughs> I don't like what you're doing. Well, take a look at your socks. They would know. Let's talk about our three WTS because we got three big ones. And I'm not talking about them boogies on them socks either. And farts. I'm putting so my sick. boogies and farts on her socks. You're really gross. It's been happening for 10 years, baby. No, no. <laughs> hey. Uh. <laughs> Where the hell did he go? Where'd it go? No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> Give me my No, give me the sock. Give me the fucking sock. You're gonna break it. I don't want it on my face. No. Get the sock out of here. You're, put, you're trying to put it in my, you almost got it in my mouth. <laughs> By the end of this video, Heather will be eating my sock. I promise you that. You better run now. Because you, you will be chilling on my sock. You off. Get out of here. Wanna take a look at something? Take a look under this table. I want you to see something. <laughs> That's right. You got something down there waiting for you. That's okay. In the form of a couple of sausages. All right, let's talk about a 3 WTS before Heather uh, derails everything once again with her dirty boogie fart socks. Don't you be pulling off that other one. I saw that little hand move down there. What do you mean? You're like a little gremlin. I just have the one off. Is no, I can one? see that one's halfway off. <laughs> I know what you're doing. Stop no, these derailing are, these the video. Socks, these socks, they don't stay on. That's the problem. That is a problem. Let's take a look at all the things, okay? I don't like watching them hands move down there. <laughs> you're a little too fast with those hands. I want Bring those hands up and put them on the table, please. Up on the table, please. No. Yes. I'm not comfortable with them on the table. Yes, right there. Thank you. Here. It's weird. Hold a pencil. Here, hold a pencil, and then here's your other hand, hold a pencil also. Why do we have so many pencils? Okay, let's take a look at our three WTFs. First one, G.I. Joe, NFTs. What the F? What do you mean, what's wrong with them? Well, this is a very boring set. Obviously, as you know, I'm a huge Transformers fan. I love Transformers, I tee up very hard. Why does it say Castlecast YouTube up top? I added that on there, just so people knew where they, where they are. They can just look below the video and see that they're on gas. They're seeing it up there too. Okay. <laughs> I should have put Heather's boogie fart socks <laughs> up there. But I really love 
a transformer to water, you, you are slowly doing something under that table. And I don't like what you're doing. I know what's going on. You know you've been caught. Stop it with the socks. It's gross. Okay. What do you mean? So the, the Funko Pops here, Flint, Lady J, Firefly, and Freddy Funko is Duke. I'm a I'm a uh, old school GI Joe fan. I love the cartoon growing up. Why did you say something it. about Transformers? Because because Transformers and GI Joe are like sort of synonymous. They're '80s, very popular uh... '80s toys. So I love Transformers. I'm I'm a GI Joe fan. At, when I was a kid, I would like the movie, the GI Joe, the movie cartoon. But what do you mean the movie cartoon? There was a movie that was a cartoon. An animated movie. Yeah. It's hard to formulate sentences when I see your hands moving like they are down there. Okay, please. <laughs> so I don't really care for these. I think they're boring and I believe they should have done a little something more. That's what I'm thinking. Like this is just, this is just a little, why are you biting your lip like that? That's, that's not normal. That's not normal that you're biting your lip. Why? You're very poised, like you're about to do something, like a cat that's about to jump on another cat. My hands are literally... Okay, put them right up like here. Make a little castle. No, I don't, okay. I don't like them there. I like them in my lap. So I'm not a, a huge uh, G.I. Joe collector, and I just think these are boring and garbage, and I'm not a fan. What do you think? I think they're boring, too. Right? They're really boring. Yeah. I, I feel like Funko could have done something really crazy. Why not, like, multicolor ones or something special like they did with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Remember the first set? Mm -hmm. Where they were, like, all wild-looking and, like, a thermo color? Like, what was it? Thermo? Yeah, that's what it looked whatever like. Whatever color. Yeah. Like, they did so many cool things. Why not do it with this set as well? This looks like something you would go and buy just directly from a store that wouldn't sell on the shelf. The Freddy Funko is Duke is cool, though. He looks like a Boy Scout. He's me. got a gun. He's got a gun. He looks like a... It's one of those rubber band guns. guns. So these are boring. I'm not a big fan of them. But what are the numbers here? Do we even know? I can't tell. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hold on. Can I zoom in? Oh! 1,900 pieces. So those are legendaries. Fireflies the Grail. And then... 2000 2000 that's weird i am a fan of the size of this collection i like that they're small <laughs> i like that as a smaller collection what are you doing my hands are on the table now you have been putting your hands all over your feet it can't smell good <laughs> that's all i'm saying smell them please no please stop it's gross so i like that it's a smaller set but not a fan of this particular one but whatever did you see this horrific Can abomination? Can we skip over this, please? Oh my God. So this is the Fanta Freddy, what is it? Project Fred. This one's unbelievable. People sent me this picture multiple times, like from multiple different people. And they're like, what it, the hell is this even? So there is a one of 75, quantity 750 total. So I guess there's 675 of this one. 75 of this one. Does anybody want this horrific thing? Comment down below if you want this. This is shocking. Look how... Cr I mean, really? I prefer the common. Same. But $250 for this? It is really garbage. Funko, you need to pick up the pace on this. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Love that it's numbered. It's showing that it's number five. You get the certificate of authenticity. I think that's cool. You get the little sticker certification. It tells you all the information that you want to know. But it's just not good. Yeah. Not very good pieces. It's yucky. Would you spend $250 on these? Fuck no. You don't think so? No! Not even the smiley face thing? I will fucking fight you. Why couldn't they put this like on his actual face and just make it? Like why paint it on his head? I know it's trying to be an art toy, but it's just not succeeding very well. Mm -mm. If I were Funko, I would have wiped the face altogether and not had it molded. And then you could have painted stuff on, and it could have been blank and flat. It would have looked a lot better. Plus, his hair is real big. What's that about? It looks like a light bulb. His mom gave him a bowl cut. I'm being too mean. Okay. And this is the last one. So, Marshalls. I think this is Marshalls. I would know if I could open is it, it directly from Diz. Is it Marshalls? Because it doesn't say Marshalls. I or think Ross? 
Anyway, whatever this is, these are. It six, could be home goods. These are six dollars, and it does look like home goods. It is. They're six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Were these not the Funko Pops that were given away for free if you purchased like over fifty bucks? I think that's what. Yeah. They were. And now they're six dollars and ninety-nine cents at one of these cheapy stores. Nobody wanted this. They still don't no. want it, and that's why you got a pile of these sitting at uh, home whatever goods or store. Ross or Marshall. Right. It has a big whatever. twenty-five on it. 25 years and what the 25th anniversary was last year i think right am i right about that i'm pretty sure it was last year i think so yeah last year so garbage because wasn't it 99 something like that compare it nine dollars no they were free yeah compare let's get real zero dollars compared to zero buckaroo bonsais yeah so those are our three wtfs and this needs to come back funko how do we how do we do how do we do this like what do we have to do well it's not he, funko it's instagram apparently or now. instagram whatever so he says so how do we get that so he says what you call him a liar no i'm saying like maybe Funko's giving him the wrong information they're like oh we did our part but then they actually didn't and they're just sabotaging him more instagram funko we need you guys to come together partner up and yeah. get this back together again. Yeah. He, it's like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall and he's into a bunch of different pieces now. Funko has the little sweeper mm -hmm. and Instagram has the little the little dustpan. Dust pan, and they sweep it in there. Then they pull all the little pieces out and they build them back up again, put them back up on the wall. Huh. Dis Dumpty. Dumpty trackers. No. Humpty trackers. That's too far. Dis Dumpty. No. Di Humpty Dumpty Dis. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty Dis. Is that a good That's one? That's the best one. Okay, Humpty Dumpty Dis is what we're going to call him. Let's get Humpty Dumpty Dis back together again. Yeah. Because he that. deserves it. He needs to get back to work. And I need his content for our videos because this is not we don't, going well we don't know how to come up with our own content this is terrible <laughs> i don't know what to do i do but <laughs> you don't like it did you guys happen to see all of the voice actors that are going to be over with seven bucks a pop during new york comic-con tara strong is going to be there carrie payton uh these are all characters from or actors for teen titans go greg sipes Scott Menville, Hayden Walsh, and then Ashley Eckstein's going to be there, who's the voice of Ahsoka. Then you have Jim Cummings, who is the voice of Darkwing Duck. Daniel Bell, Bell who's from One Piece. Robert McCollum, he's from a bunch of other animes. Jeff Ward, which is like a clown character from the One Piece show, it looks like. Kaiji Tang, uh, another... A uh, person from anime, Ryan Colt. He looks like the Chainsaw Man guy. And then Michelle Knotts is from the uh, Pokemon. Pokemon show, the the female character from Ro the Rocket team or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's really team great. Rocket. Team Rocket. So October 17th through the 20th, booth 1018, which isn't very far from us. Mm -hmm. They're going to have all sorts of people over there signing stuff. We highly recommend you go and check them out. We love 7 bucks a pop, and they'll also have exclusives over there to include a gold pharaoh chomp. Mm -hmm. So head over to 7 bucks a pop at New York Comic Con. Do not miss out. They've got some awesome things to include. The Pop Shield Armors. I'm sure they'll have a bunch of those on hand My to face. protect them. Pops, bro. What do you think about all these WTS? What do you think about how they're trying to shove her sock in my mouth, which I'm pretty I sure. Try to shove it in your you're mouth. trying to hit me in the head with it or something. And I feel like you're about to do it again. You're gonna try again. <laughs> I you know, would never. Uh, there's a smile on your face that tells me you're I gonna do it never. again. There's definitely one hundred percent. A hundred percent. But we wanna know what you think about all that. More in the comment section down below. What did I tell you? <laughs> now I got two. You know, it's like nunchucks. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Jeremy Strecker, Noah Crisco, David Newman, John McCormick, Douglas Hunt, Steps Barreas, Anita Atkinson, Altania, Chris Grist, Stacey Lehman, and Trudy Scarborough Farlow. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you're not on our Patreon yet, Check out patreon.com slash castlecast to find out all the ways that you can support this channel and also get sneak peeks of upcoming Mischief Toys stuff, be a part of some giveaways, and all of this takes place during our monthly Google Meet Chats where we hang out with our patrons. 
we do all these awesome giveaways and just have a bunch of laughs together. It's a really, really good time. Our patrons really love it. So check it out at patreon.com slash gasocast. Also, hit the like button, subscribe button, and a little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. You don't want to miss our new content, and you certainly don't want to miss our lives between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern on Sundays. We have a whole lot of fun. This past Sunday, we talked a little bit more about New York Comic Con and how we're not ready, which is 100% true even right now. Uh, but we go a little bit more in depth in our lives and, and the collecting world and just all things in between when it comes to Heather, myself, and the Gasocast channel and Mischief Toys. So come and join our lives. It's a really, really good time. You don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for staying until the end. We really appreciate you. We will see you in the next one. Bye.